For this part of the process, I pressed up the hem of the entire jacket. About an inch as indicated by the instructions. Tossed it on my mannequin so it would be a little bit easier to see the entirety. But I do have a lot to work with seeing as I have opted to go for the pleated skirt. Here is just a detail of my progress on pinning the interfacing to the bottom hem. I've got half of it done. The uneven hand basting at a half inch is coming along. Fortunately, I have a, quite a ways to go, but here we go. So as you can see, my camera will focus. I have done the cat stitching over top of the um, interfacing and I have pressed up my hem that one inch. So for this next step where we had to do the catch stitching on the inner facing, I did run into a little trouble just because of the um, way that my jacket is made. I had some complications trying to figure out how to attach the facing. Ultimately what I did is I attached the lining first and then did just a short catch stitch on the upper edge of that facing and the lining together so as to not complicate and possibly warp and distort this area because I do have a dart that comes through the front that I did not want to interfere with so it is just a short catch stitch and I will likely um also do something maybe a stitch in a ditch in this area just to keep it even more secured and to make sure that it's all looking nice and flat from the front. By this point, I've already done the felt stitching to attach the lining to the facing. I am currently working on the uneven basting of the hem. However, I have a long way to go for this hem. It is excruciatingly large because of the pleating. And I did have to take a different approach because I realized with the length and the high-low situation of the jacket hem, I found it would be a little aesthetically unpleasing if I had a gray lining like what I have going on for the top. So I actually chose to do the bottom half in a black so that it wouldn't be so apparent when I wore it that the lining was sticking out from the bottom. It's looking pretty good. I do need to press it and maybe take a lint roller to it, but I'm pretty happy with the way that the hem turned out. It's pretty clean. I do need to trim those loose threads. It took a long, long time because I had a lot of skirt to work with given that it has that nice pleating going on but came out pretty well.